Hi everyone, we're here at John Sadler's Auto Repair. And today I want to talk about testing ignition coils. And here's a basically uh, coil on plug coil that's working on a Nissan Murano with a 3.5 liter. And this is a coil tester. It's a simple tool that hooks on the end of the coil and the other side to ground and it goes in 10 kV increments. It goes from 10 kV to 20 kV to 30 kV to 40 kV. A good ignition coil should put out at least 30 kV. So what we're going to do is hook this tester up to the coil that we have on the vehicle right now and then we're going to do a test on it and see what it's doing and then we have a new coil to compare with. So I'll show you what we're going to do next here. We're going to plug this onto the coil we have and then hook up a ground. Then of course you've got to start the engine. And when I push this piece in here, I should get a nice hot spark jumping out of there. I have nothing whatsoever at 30 kV. So now I'm going to drop it down to 10 kV and it has little increments marked off in the inside of the tool to tell you where you're at. Okay, you can see at 10 kV, we have a spark there at 10 kV. So it's very weak, very dim. It should be just making all kinds of noise sparking through there. So we know that that coil is pretty darn weak from the way it's behaving. Now I'm going to shut the engine off. And now we're going to install a new coil. And then we're going to set our scale back up to 30 kV, which for any good coil should put out 30 kV, no problem at all. So there's our 30 kV, and now we'll start our engine. And as you can see, we got a great spark coming out of there. <laughs> And it's going to go where the tool fits a little bit loose on the, boot, on the boot, but you can see that's a nice hot spark going through there. It's nice and blue. It's just jumping across that distance, no problem whatsoever. So that's showing us that we have a great functioning ignition coil. That coil is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So we'll shut the engine off here. So that's a little tip from John Sadler's. You can take a, a coil that you suspect has the problems and you put the KV tester on there, then you put the new coil on there. So we're showing that coil's 20 KV off. So it has a code PO305, a misfired number five cylinder. Having that weak coil will cause that problem because the check engine light would come on intermittently, then it would go off for a while, then come on because it was still enough to make the engine run, but it wasn't running to an optimal level. So now it's going to run optimally, and we're going to put a new spark plug in there, put the new coil in there, torque the coil down to the proper spec, and we're going to have a happy customer. And the reason I made this video is to show you how to test the vehicle dynamically on the vehicle, under a load, under actual driving conditions. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.